everyone welcome back to my channel so this is gonna be a little day in my life vlog i try to wake up around 7 30 but i'm usually always late <laughs> but this is where my morning start i wake up brush my teeth take a bath have some warm water and then i go ahead and do my skincare mostly breakfast karne ka time to nahi hi hota hai but i still try to run to the mess quickly and grab a brown or something late yet again <laughs> This is honestly a huge problem at this point. No matter how early I wake up, I can just never get to class on time. But this particular day, we got extremely late and they were suspending students and blocking their attendance. So we had to take a little detour and find a way to get to class without anybody catching us. So you can see us doing that here. We usually have three periods in the morning, post which we're taken to the dissection hall. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do Dissection hall periods have honestly been the highlight of my first year and I cannot emphasize enough on the importance of regularly attending dissection hall classes. Anatomy is definitely my favorite and also my strongest subject of first year and the only reason why that was possible was because of dissection hall and the practical exposure we got there. Seriously guys when I tell you that dissection hall just made me want to go to college every day and it made me want to push through all the other subjects as well. and. <laughs> I can just go on and on talking about how much I love anatomy and dissection because it's just been such an amazing part of this whole experience and the best feeling was when I could see all of this enthusiasm paying off because before my anatomy midterm and second term exams I did not even have to study that much especially for the practical I literally slept like 10 hours the night before my practical <laughs> After dissection, we were taken to this new clinical lab that had opened up in the hospital and oh my god, the lab is so amazing. It's got the best equipment and the best technology that our college has seen so far. And it's basically a place where they're going to teach us about all the applied clinical practices and this particular day they were teaching us about CPR. The interior is so, so gorgeous and very Grey's Anatomy. And we were all really, really excited to be here. I'm just going to give you a little tour of how the lab looked. Visiting the clinical lab was honestly so fun and so interesting and definitely one of the best days of first year so far. But one major realization that hit us after visiting the lab for the first time, we in fact have very little clinical knowledge. This is honestly very concerning because without clinical knowledge, we cannot clear the next exam. To help us with the same, Prep Ladder has launched their new question bank, Next Edition. Some of the nicest features about the question bank are as follows. Number one, active guidance. When you click the answer, the indicator points in the question will get highlighted, which will help you to concrete the art of eliminating the wrong options while solving MCQs. All the options given, both correct and incorrect, are elaborately discussed. Learning objectives are provided at the end of each question, which has made the question bank a very, very effective revision tool. All of the questions are video tagged. If you have a doubt while solving a question, you can directly jump to the video solution that the strike rate in NEET PG 2023 is 96%, which means that 96% of the questions were from their content itself. I didn't believe it at first, but then I saw their analysis in which they've given proof and you can see a proof. And now I feel more confident about the choice of preparation source. You can also check the same. I've attached the link to the PPT in the description. I said I had purchased it in my first year itself that I could start studying in a clinically oriented manner from then itself but it's better late than never don't miss out this amazing offer and check out the link in the description down below after we were done with the clinical lab we went to have lunch and 
and the mess is usually super crowded at this time and mm-hmm. none of us really like the mess of honey so on some days we either go to the canteen or to kb which is a restaurant on campus and yeah that's kind of our routine which is so on some days jab acche wale bhai hote hain mess mein we do get to skip the line and get access exclusively to the mess kitchen After that we mostly go down to pick up our orders if any from Amazon and all and then post the break we have our practical classes okay First chance to give our reading because we're class toppers. That's just how we roll. It's so pretty. I hate that. You are a potato. I hate that. It's so cute. Hi. <laughs> so this is a competition. Kangna is Kangna is playing from my side. Basically, we'll see who's gonna leave first. There we have Bhavi the bitch, and here we have Kangna the queen of the world. So we get done with classes around 4:30, and then we just wait on the parapet till somebody offers us a lift. Because as you all know, the college is on a hill, and it is a task to climb back up to the hostel. Now this day we had planned to go out in the evening to Solon, so we just went back to the hostel. All of us got ready, and then we left for Solon. And you can see how many pretty views here. There's a very cute Tibetan cafe in Seoul, and they serve the best laughing ever. And we come here so frequently. I refuse to believe you made told him to come here. Hundred. Let's get it. Yeah. Coming back, I just went to pick up my laundry and face my mama like I usually do, and give her all the updates of the day. Then I just did a little bit of my file work, ironed my clothes, and just kept them aside for the morning. And I did my skincare and just got ready for bed. I like to sleep early. I cannot, absolutely cannot stay up till late. So yeah, I think I sleep around like ten thirty or eleven max. So yeah, this is how my day looks as a first year medical student i hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog if you did don't forget to like share and comment and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye